welcome to a new kind of episode and uh guess which one is me you'll never guess can you guess i don't think you can guess which one is me okay uh, so anyway uh we are here on the tricraft server let's get out of f5 mode and put my stuff back on and we can fly around and check out my base. I want to thank everyone, all of the tryhards and everyone for inviting me and welcoming me on their server. It has been a lot of fun and uh, I've gotten a lot accomplished, a lot more than I normally do in Worlds. Uh, so we uh spawned in 2000 blocks that way and i walked over here and found this castle that was half demolished and worn down and falling apart and uh i fixed it up and this is kind of what it looks like i changed the blocks out i'm not sure if i'm happy with it or not I don't know. I also made a uh, pathway out here with some lights. Uh, I started a little Batania building over there. I think I'm going to do some stuff with that. Uh, I got it started a little bit. Uh, I think I'm farther along. Oh, maybe not. I'm about where I am in my Agrarian Sky series <laughs> with Batania. I haven't gotten very far here. Um, but one of the first things I did was after kind of shearing up the walls so the, you know, the bad guys didn't come in, I made a transmutation table from Project E and I have 18 million EMC in there so far uh, and started learning stuff. All kinds of stuff. I have all kinds, all kinds of stuff. Uh, in here I have things that I can't put in the table. Uh, over here I have all kinds of things from fossils and archaeology. Uh, and then I have some sky stone blocks and some quarried stone and division. I have like all kinds of stuff. And then in here, I'm kind of proud of this, uh, I got soul vials of every single kind of mob, including the uh, peaceful mobs. So that way, uh, if I we need mobs drops of any kind uh or a mob farm i can make those with that here is my machine room i just made um i'm using the ender io conduits uh down here and then the conduit facades i also have a where's it at is it over here no um maybe it's back in there there's a um a thing uh, a thing you know a thing a thing uh, not there not there is it over here yeah there it is <laughs> it's a tesseract of course I can't find anything in here uh, so I have a tesseract over there and uh, this is my second floor my first basement and uh yeah i have magical crops i'm growing yellorium or yellorite uh crops and yeah, i worked my way up first to make the zavicio armor so that way i could fly like creative mode type flight because uh, that makes it a little easier to get around here uh, plus i'm not used to not being able to like fly and not have magnet mode and all this stuff um, but down below underneath that there's our crop farm is my big reactor and I have this the farmer the ender IO farmer up above harvesting everything I made a bedrockium matic which says it has infinite uses uses but it's not there's 36,000 year uses and it's been going for well I don't have it chunk loaded so um, 
for quite a few hours it's taken anyway. Uh, so it comes down here, the extra seeds go in here, uh, and then I have the essence going in here. This makes the yellow ore, it makes four ore, so I get eight ingots out of it uh, for every nine pieces of essence. So every time I uh, get harvest a whole crop, Full, I get a whole stack of yellowite ingots. So if we look in here, I have the highest grade level uh, barrel. I think it's the highest. It can hold 8,128 stacks. That's a lot. <laughs> and one stack of this gives me um, a quarter of a million EMC. So yeah, so every five minutes, because of all of the, the um, lily pads I have here around the outside and around the middle, uh, every five minutes it harvests uh, the whole crop. So I'm getting a stack of yellow eye ingots every five minutes. So that's pretty cool. I'm also getting regular stone because when you do the ore in here, sometimes you get cobblestone, which is just automatically being smelted up into smooth stone. Uh, so I have those set. I'm pretty sure I have the void upgrade, or I need to still put the void upgrade on there. And then we have the cyanite coming in from um, behind or underneath here uh, from the reactor. And this is going into the reactor. So the reactor is always full. So I have this set up. It's not really, the only machines are the machines upstairs that I showed you with the test rack and these machines up here. So it's really not using very much. Um, but I have the Rednet controller. So if you have this set uh, and use the black and white, you can use whatever two colors you want. Uh, the white one's set up for the power and the black one is set up for the uh, fuel rods. So if you have that set up in the Rednet controller, you do the maximum two input and then um, the down is white and then the down is black. So that you have the white over here and then the black over here. So the power's over here and the control rods are over here. Uh, you wanna do down because this is down. If you have this underneath, then you'll wanna do up or you know whatever side this thing is uh, on. So that's how I have that set up. It automatically controls the control rods. So when this is full, the control rods inside go down and it uses less fuel. So I'm not just wasting fuel. Uh, so the more power I start using, the, the control rods will start going up and it'll start making more power uh, all the way up to max, which I think is about 20, somewhere between 20 and 25, 26,000 RF a tick. Uh, so that's will last me quite a while because I don't really have a reason to use power at the moment. Uh, so that is there. Let me see. Is it? I'm trying to find. Okay, over here. I have a little way down here and I put in a reinforced obsidian room and that's where I fight my withers. They can't break this block uh, and I'm pretty sure they can't get out here. I kind of set it off and then he goes into a corner and then I fight him in the doorway. I fight through the doorway because I'm a big chicken when it comes to fighting wither bosses. I did have a sheep over here so it would lock onto the sheep and he would stand right here uh, but the sheep was too close to the blast and it ended up killing him uh, that's where I went down to mine uh, to get stuff in the beginning and yeah that's pretty much my setup here I don't really have a whole lot uh, I started working with the deco craft and doing that uh, you put in clay and coloring and you can make all kinds of stuff with it so that's I kind of been playing around with that um, let's see above this room I have a small smeltery set up and then I have the enchanting 
uh, table and all of the enchanting stuff. And then I have a brewing stand up there. Uh, I can I save all of my my essence there because it's super easy to do uh, right there. These are all of my picks I used in the beginning to level up. Uh, over here I started some IC2 machines. Uh, I tried to get, I got almost everything that I needed out of the nether by not going to the nether. And this is one way I got blaze rods. Uh, yeah. So, and then I have an ender furnace here and a QED here and put a bunch of those. Those have uh, EMC, which is really cool. Then if we go over here, I don't think there's anything in this tower now besides the, uh, the nether portal, which I don't really use anymore. And is there anything up here? No. And I put a telescope there. So there's not a whole lot I have. Uh, but I have a lot of EMC, so if there's something that I want, uh, then I just take it out of the table. So, yeah. Uh, the really cool thing that I found is that you can use, or, uh, <laughs> I love those doors. Uh, the tables, like the pe petals and the flowers from Batania, are all have EMC. So any color that I need a flower, I went out and I flew around and found every single color of flower uh, that I could. And now I have an infinite number of those. Uh, but these kind of things, the uh, like the day bloom, uh, come here. Okay. Uh, these do not have EMC. So all the flowers and stuff, I still have to make that. It's just the basic flowers. Uh, these do not have EMC, so I also have to use those. So it's basically just the flowers and the petals. Uh, I did make a ring of magnetization and a sojourner stash, but, sash, but I don't know if I like those or not. I don't know. So uh, that's about it. That's what I've been doing on the TriCraft server. Uh, I want to thank those that allowed me to come on and play and I wanted to uh yeah just it, it's been a lot of fun and uh getting to know everybody and stuff I'm not sure I'm kind of far along and to make a regular series out of this so maybe I'll just do update videos every once in a while of what I've been doing uh and then uh, the next time we change maps, maybe I will do a thing. I don't know. So I hope you guys like it. It at least shows everybody else what I've been doing on the server. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.